so we will see the experiment and this particular experiment you can see the diagram has been given the stress analysis of the L bracket the boundary condition uh, we will put in the experiment itself so this is a two basically a 2d diagram next go to your ANSYS workbench right click on engineering data so you will get engineering data by default everything is steel so no need of uh, doing anything now click on geometry right click and design modeler geometry now once you have clicked it take ta some time for ANSYS to open now once you have opened now you have to select the plane uh, no you first go for millimeter means first uh, change your unit according to the requirement then select the plane now once the you can zoom in zoom out by using cursor of the mouse then once it is selected now you can see you can move your uh, plane by using pan button now go to geometry select circle draw a circle of any diameter you can see the geometry there are two circles now uh, we will give the dimension it's a big bigger circle and so we will draw another circle so we'll be using left click for drawing the two circles now again we have drawn now it is not coming to the center just hold left click and choose the icon and release the left click so your outer diameter must be 50 and inner diameter must be 25 so we have successfully done that so now do uh, we are drawing another circle of 50 millimeter diameter OD the bigger circle and the smaller circle will be 25 mm diameter uh, you can uh, draw this circle in any plane no issue now if we see here now if you see the geometry uh, the distance is 150 meter but we need to subtract uh, these horizontal distance by the radius so I uh, so horizontal distance between those two will be 125 and vertical distance will be around 75 and ch check the geometry the vertical distance is 125 100 minus 75 and horizontal is 150 minus 25 you can see vertical distance is 75 actually uh, when you are giving dimension it takes time you have to go to the dimension now we will drawing two straight lines so what we have done we have gone click to lines and we have we are just putting a dragging line no issue in that it's easy I think then after that we will going for trim option so so we will just trim all the extra elements as per the geometry the one trim has been done we will be giving fillets as for the geometry so you can see fillets and be given so radius is I guess 10 mm so 
is given fillet is 10 mm so you can see it is 10 mm so our geometry we will select whole geometry and sketch then we will extrude it so extrude so now in the dialog box you can extrude it to 10 mm so we will get this geometry after that go and write uh, you need to update everything it takes time update the geometry then model you go and update so answers take some time so update the model now you can see the geometry has been uploaded now still uh, uploading I don't know why why it is taking so much time. Uh, yeah, finally we got it. If it takes time, it depends on the RAM of the system and uh, your geometry. So it takes time to upload. Now you can see. Now it is look looking very small. So we will uh, bring it out to our screen S to zoom in, zoom out. We will using uh, mouse button to zoom in zoom out zoom to fit you can s the next is we will see the solid you can see down if you click you will see by default it is structural steel now you go and click left mesh so you will easily get the by default mesh next static structure insert we will insert the boundary condition fix support so we select the face we we'll select the face and we will fix it then apply then we will insert the force force and we will select that part and will apply force then we will select the component here instead of vector we will be using component and here we will provide around 1000 newton in y and z direction only so deformation total deformation we will put and we will put one mistress in total deformation and we will solve it it will take time uh, another t uh, some seconds to solve it hope you understood the problem so here the problem has been solved so this is showing the equivalent stress of uh, one mist stress and total deformation you can see now we will try you can see here 
how it is behaving one side is fixed and force is acting thank you